Hello world, it's midday, one o'clock, something like that, on the 27th of February 2014. Um, I've written 12 of the sun sign forecasts for next March, a couple of days, so I'm still writing the 13th for global forecast. And for some reason, I just decided to stop in the middle of it and record this video because I'm writing about Mercury retrograde. Mercury's been retrograde. The shadow of Mercury retrograde and the actual retrograde movement itself has been around us now for six or seven weeks. Mercury stops going retrograde basically in about 25 hours from now. At 2 p.m. in the afternoon, UK time, 5 to 2 in the afternoon, something like that, Friday the 28th of February. And then it starts moving forward again. And it will clear Aquarius uh, on the 18th of March and it will conjunct Neptune on the 21st of March and from the 21st of March onwards, from equinox onwards, we're out of the Mercury retrograde shadow for a few months until the next one, seven times every two years. But what does it actually mean? It, the, the astrologer's get out clause is that different retrograde cycles from different planets will have different meanings every time depending on A, which sign they're in, B, what aspect they're making to other planets in the sky, and C, what they're doing to your individual chart, but that's more of a personal thing. At the global level, it depends what sign they're in and what aspects they're making, but this is a classical Mercury retrograde. For example, when Mercury moved into retrograde, in uh, sorry, into Pisces in February, or when Mercury moved into its retrograde shadow around the end of January, the real retrograde period started. Then Mercury moved into Pisces at the very end of January until mid-February, flirted with Neptune but didn't touch it. So for the first two weeks of February, there's a great deal of confusion and messiness. Mercury and Pisces conjunct Neptune. All the mentality, the intellect, it's nebulous and it's standing still. So there's a sense of fusion. It's not moving forward. It's not moving backwards. It's fusion. As it begins to move backwards in the second week of February, very different period to the first week. The first week is about failed actions. The second week is about more retrospect at the emotive level. And then Mercury moves back into Aquarius. Very different energy. Mid-February through to end February, where um, Mercury loves being in Aquarius. Even retrograde, because Aquarius is impersonal, objective, detached, logical, it's functional. All words which Mercury, being genderless, really appreciates. So as Mercury's been retrograde, it's got closer and closer to square to Saturn, where it's been for the last week, will be for the next week, creating a much more harder, nose-to-the-grindstone, matter-of-fact, down-to-earth attitude about dealing with things. Now Mercury is standing still in the coming 24 hours, and then it will slowly start inching forward again. It will clear Saturn around about the 10th, 12th of March to take, what's that, two weeks time. It will leave, as I say, Aquarius into Pisces around the 18th of March. And we should find that the more we get into the second week of March, once we're through all the retrograde dancing that's coming up in the coming week, we should find that from then on, clarity and more, um, uh, straightforward and transparent information comes to light in a number of areas and things suddenly start becoming much more oiled and become resolved a lot easier. When it's a Mercury retrograde in general, regardless of sign and to a lesser extent aspect, it is always going to be seen that the period of the Mercury stations, both standing still going backwards and standing still going forwards, are seen as times of fusion, not infusion and not confusion but fusion like sticking your sticking a head full of electricity into a bucket of ice it's like sparks coming out your ears of course not everyone feels this the mercury station has to be affecting your particular chart in a fairly strong way but it's really not uncommon mercury retrograde generally suggests that the value of information of communication of networking, of thought and of movement, the value of all of this communication process is going to be more realised internally rather than externally. Externally, you can go and play in the outside world when Mercury's not in shadow. Whilst it's in shadow, especially in this phase now, as we move towards uh, it moving forward again, 
it's time to start slowly walking your talk. You've reassessed, you've reevaluated while Mercury's been retrograde. Now it's time to start thinking about your choices and to start walking your talk. Hopefully by mid-March, actions will be coming. There you go, there's my take on the current Mercury retrograde. Oh, one last thing. I've been, I've been playing with this. Uh, cycles, if you're unsteady, turn off now, right? This is a do, this is a truncated dodecahedron. It is five circles at an angle. And if you really want to know what a Mercury retrograde is like for an astrologer, it's like this. <laughs> 